that's junk. We're still chugging along, looking at all the titles that developer and publisher Koei released on the Super Nintendo, and so far so good. Games like Liberty or Death, Rise of the Phoenix, Pacific Theater of Operations, and the Aerobiz games have been good playthroughs for the most part, despite a steeper learning curve than you'd probably like for a game. But here we've got Operation Europe, Path to Victory 1939-1945, another PC port to the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis released in June 1994, and this one is not good. It's every Koei stereotype turned up to 11. It's a shame because this is perfect subject matter for a game like this. There are six scenarios to complete. The occupation of France, the invasion of Normandy, Battle of the Bulge, the Desert War in North Africa, as well as battles in Kursk and Berlin. So yeah, this time we're playing through the European and North African battles of World War II where you can play as the Allied or Axis forces, which means this is the rare Super Nintendo game where you play as a Nazi. Wait, Nintendo went out of their way to censor blood and religious imagery, but were cool with conquering Europe as the Nazi. Nazis. I'm sure they were okay with this game since it has kind of an educational slant, but it does make me wonder if the censors at Nintendo saw how long it took to complete this one and just said, well, it's Koei. I'm sure they've got things figured out and under control, so they just left it alone. I think that because Operation Europe is so impossibly slow. Uh, dear God. You want to know what you'll be doing half the time when you're playing this one? Watching loading screens where the game sits there and says the enemy is now plotting strategy. Every single thing takes freaking forever in this game. It's so slow. After a while, I couldn't help but imagine the music being replaced with the sound of a five and a half inch floppy disk drive. Even Nintendo Power went in on this game, starting out their review in Volume 62 by saying, If you plug in Koei's Operation Europe, be prepared to spend about as much time reliving World War II as it took to fight in the first place. That's a funny line, but it's not an exaggeration. No other SNES Koei game, or any 16-bit game period, has these long-ass wait times. Even back then, when you had a lot less to do and a lot fewer options for entertainment, this game was just too much. The way Operation Europe plays is not that different from any other Koei game I've covered so far. Each unit has eight general options, organized by move, attack, supply, occupy, defend, sabotage, pursue, and rest. You've got generals, battalions, statistics, ratings. I mean, you take one glance at this game and you know what it's all about. The research in Operation Europe is excellent. These are all real people and they get the details of the battles down well. I mean, there's no casual interest in games like this. Either you're into it or you're not. So it's cool to see the developers go all out. Unfortunately, the amount of content here combined with how glacially slow this game is does not make for a very good playthrough. This one is closer to Pacific Theater of Operations on the Koei scale, meaning that there's a lot of micromanaging here, lots of menus to drill down to really specific things like transferring command posts to different battalions so your army commander doesn't end up in the line of fire, or dealing with eight different kinds of terrain, or transporting cargo from city to city, organizing supply chains, and uh, what, you can summon the X-Men? No, that would actually make this game exciting. Instead, it's transferring troops to reinforce other divisions. There's also about a million tanks, all historically accurate, of course, and like I said, the generals and officers you see in the game are real people. But the snail's pace this game has, plus the really annoying computer AI, makes this one a complete stay away. The most annoying thing is that every single battle takes forever, not just because of the loading screens, but because the enemy always turns tail and runs away, and then you spend the next 30 minutes chasing them down so you can move on to the next battle. It's extremely annoying in an already very annoying game. Plus, anytime you call for help for an airstrike or from special forces, it doesn't seem to really do anything. Maybe I just need to put the controller down and wait for three hours for something to actually happen, but I was left confused constantly with this game. You get the illusion of having control with all these menus and options, but ultimately, you don't really see if anything you've done pans out, or at least if I did, it wasn't really noticeable. Sometimes units will just sit there not doing anything, and I can't tell if it's something I've done, or maybe it's something I haven't done, or if it's fatigue or morale or whatever. It's just extremely frustrating. Not even the music can save this one. Sometimes with slow games, you're accompanied by some good tunes, but the music in Operation Europe is very basic with the same loop playing over and over. So yeah, some of you out there may dig the content in Operation Europe, especially if you're a World War II history buff, but you're gonna wanna stay far away from this one. It's work to play and there's very little reward. It's just way too slow, way too dated, way too confusing, and way too boring. 
I mean, the smaller battles in this game take as long as entire scenarios in other Koei games. The first scenario took something like five hours, and half the time I was just waiting for the computer to do something while I was scrolling through my phone. Thankfully, in this day and age, there's tons upon tons of World War II strategy games out there like Unity of Command, or Company of Heroes, or Hearts of Iron, or Steel Division. There's about a million games you can get into, but just don't play Operation Europe. It's about as fun as a root canal. Avoid this game! Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.